time for me to talk about something very dear to my heart. Alone time. Which means I need you all to leave. <laughs> Not really, but also maybe really. <laughs> because I love being alone. Does anyone else love alone time? I love it. I mean, seriously, y'all. I watched the movie Cast Away and I got major FOMO. <laughs> it's great because alone time is when I do self-care. You know, I recharge, meditate, and center myself. It's also great because I hate holding in my farts. <laughs> no, seriously, because you're all here right now, so I'm holding in a fart. <laughs> seriously, alone time is like a phone charger for my soul. Just like a phone charger, someone always comes to borrow it at the most inconvenient time. <laughs> because no matter how close you are to people, whenever you're around others, let's be real, you're kind of like playing a character. You know, the version of you you want them to see. It's like you're standing on stage, in front of an audience, putting on a performance night after night after night after night after night after night. Who would want to live that way? That sounds horrible. <laughs> These days, I'm so busy with this show and my channel, and my house is so full of friends all the time that my only alone time is in the shower. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll let you wonder why I'm not alone on the toilet. <laughs> and if anyone wanted to try to get sexy in the shower with me, I'd just be like, no. This is my, this is my time. <laughs> because let's be real, y'all. Shower sex sucks. Wait, I've never been, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, I have never been having regular sex and thought, hey, you know what would make this really hot? a 20% chance of falling and breaking my neck. <laughs> also, also a question. When do you transition from sex to a real shower? Like, do you just awkwardly turn around and start cleaning your butt crack, and then a couple minutes later, you're like, well, I really hope that was conditioner. <laughs> but there are downsides to being alone. Like when you're alone for exactly one second too long and your brain immediately is like, hey, here's something fun to think about. You're a fraud and everyone hates you. <laughs> Not to mention when you're alone in your home and then two thieves break into your house, you have to set up a bunch of traps to keep them out. Hashtag relatable, am I right? <laughs> also, whenever I get too much alone time, I end up lying to myself. I'll be like, oh, I've got the whole weekend to myself. Oh. I'll learn how to cook, maybe learn a new language, finally start jogging. And then 40 hours of 90 Day Fiance later, I'm like, you know what? I'm living my best life. I'm good. I'm good. Needing alone time gets really complicated when you're seeing someone. Yeah. These two know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But just because you love someone doesn't mean you have to spend every minute with them. Sometimes it can actually ruin the relationship. Just look at Pete Davidson and Ariana Grande. Broken engagement. <laughs> Sonny and Cher, divorce. <laughs> Bert and Ernie, they barely have sex anymore. <laughs> and I do want to have kids one day, which complicates the whole alone thing. Look, the other day, I was FaceTiming with my nephew, and he said this, I swear he said, I had to leave that birthday party, I just needed some alone time. <laughs> That's the kid I want. <laughs> Just like mom, you know, Paw Patrol was very overwhelming. <laughs> I need time to get over what happened with Chase the police dog. <laughs> Goals! That's the kid I want. <laughs> now, this might be an unpopular opinion, but just hear me out. <clears throat> Even if I get married, I want to have my own separate bedroom. Yep, I do. I really do. I just need my own space because, well, once again, farts. <laughs> but having my own room would be great because my spouse wouldn't have to hear what I say in my sleep. And like, it's all over the place, truly. <laughs> I talk about what I want to do on this show, what I want to do on my YouTube channel, what I want to do with the Hemsworths. <laughs> yeah, no, all of them, even the bad one. <laughs> Speaking of, separate rooms is it's pretty sexy for role play, if you think about it, you know? Like, my partner is the hot stranger in the hotel room next to mine. <laughs> and I'm the anxious adult woman with intimacy issues. <laughs> hot! Sometimes it can be hard to explain to people that I need alone time, even though I'm always with my dog. People I date are like, oh, so what the hell, a scar broken stay, but I can't? And I'm like, yeah, 
We don't have to spend a bunch of time cuddling after he licks me. <laughs>